battle of next generation video gaming has begun. Sony's PlayStation 4 and Microsoft's Xbox One are battling for next generation superiority. Both consoles have new features. First, let's take a look at the Xbox One. Xbox One. First of all, 500 gigs. Can't go wrong with that. It's enough space to put your movies, games, all that good stuff. And then from the 360, it gets transformed. Now it has Blu-ray. So harder to scratch your games. They finally got rid of the laser burn problem. There were three red rings. The new Xbox controller has a new rumble feature. So where, say, if you were playing Need for Speed and you got in a wreck, your car hit the top right, your top right sensor on the controller will uh, vibrate. The Kinect sensor also allows uh, the Xbox One to identify who everyone is, along with the new voice command. My whole life I've always been an Xbox fan. I'm an Xbox 360 now, and I am definitely getting the Xbox One. I mean, who wouldn't want an Xbox One? Did you hear about the feature it has where you can just zoom out of your game while it's loading and watch TV? It also works as a DVR box, so you can go from Hey Xbox, while I'm matchmaking on Halo, I could watch Channel 58 along with that and when I want to go back to my game I could just say Xbox Game and it'll go right back to the game. Now check out what new feature the PS4 has to offer. PlayStation 4. 500 gigs, plenty of space, do whatever you want with that. The new controller feature, however, has a touchpad. So you can control all your uh, you can control all your gaming, all your settings through voice commands along with touchscreen. I chose PlayStation 4 because it never let me down. Sony's always had good products. I've always been confident in what they had to offer. I like the controller better for PS4 and Xbox. It's a really good controller. Since I bought it uh, the night it came out, I got it at midnight. Um, I haven't had any problems. It looks great. The gameplay is awesome. It's phenomenal. PS4 being released a week before Xbox, they have a little bit of defect problems that they call the blue light of death which we've been getting a few returns for, which I think Xbox took more of their time to get it correct. Now, the PlayStation 4 is $399 as opposed to the Xbox One being $499, but as soon as you buy the camera, which comes separately with it, basically the PlayStation 4 is Kinect, you have to pay an extra hundred. So if you want that, they pretty much come out to the same price. Only time will tell who will be victorious in the next generation battle of video games. Both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have their loyal fans, and for those undecided on which console to get, go to www.xbox.com or www.playstation.com for more information. This is Nate Welch, NTW News.